The series is sponsored by Taskade, a real-time organization and collaboration platform. Make sure to check the description for 100% lifetime discount to your subscription. Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to this mini series on JSON Server. In this video, I'll talk about the what and why of JSON Server and set up a very simple package.json. In the remainder of the series, we will take a look at the different features JSON Server has to offer. Let's begin. What is JSON Server and why would you need it? JSON Server is an NPM package that lets you create fake REST APIs with zero coding. The reason you might want to use it is the same reason why I use it. As a front-end developer, I constantly need mock data that I can use to quickly prototype front-end components. I like the data to be fetched asynchronously and the APIs should support not just GET but also POST, PUT and DELETE requests. Creating a node plus Express plus MongoDB backend is pretty time consuming. Instead, I rely on JSON Server. So if you are a front-end dev, I highly recommend you learn and understand how to work with this package as it will save you a lot of time when prototyping. In this mini series, I will show you how to create a simple JSON file that can be used as a database and supports API requests for a number of day-to-day -day requirements like querying a list of items, querying by ID, filtering, sorting, pagination, querying with operations like greater than or less than, querying by full text search, querying parent or child entities, and making post, put or delete requests, all using JSON server. We will wrap up the series with some configuration options. Now as prerequisites for this series, you don't really need a knowledge of any front-end technology as such. You just have to know about the JSON format and how an API is typically consumed in a front-end application. Everything else will seem straightforward as we explore the different features. Now before we get started, I just want to point out that I have created a JSON file and included some data. It contains two keys at the top level, products and reviews. Products is an array of 10 items. Each product has a unique ID, title, category, price and description. We then have an array of five reviews which correspond to the products listed above. Each review has a unique ID, a rating, a comment and the product ID to which it belongs to. So review one belongs to product one. So do reviews two and three. Review 4 belongs to product 2 and review 5 belongs to product 3. A pretty simple JSON file as you can see. Now we need to set up JSON server. Step 1. Create a package.json file in the project folder. For that, in the terminal, run the command npm init-y. You should have a package.json file created with some defaults. Step 2. Install the JSON server package. So in the terminal again, run the command yarn add json-server or npm install json-server. You should see it being listed as a dependency. For the third and final step, add a new script to start the server. Let's call the script serve json and the command to start is json hyphen server dash dash watch db dot json. So our server will now continuously monitor db dot json file 
and serve the latest data. You can find this project setup on my GitHub page in the JSON Server Tutorials repo. Let's run the script and make sure it works. In the terminal, run yarn serve hyphen JSON. If you navigate to localhost port 3000, you should see a very nice JSON Server homepage. Our setup is working as expected. Now what we will learn in this series is how to query and mutate this JSON file through API endpoints. Let's start with get requests in the next video.